Welcome back everybody. My name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Planescape Torment. In the last video we killed Ravel and escaped her maze. We are now in uh, Cursed, which you can see right there is the name. And so we're just going to start exploring this town. It is a fairly small town. Um, this is the tavern. We're not going to go in there quite yet, the though it is important. We're actually going to go up this way first. I'm gone. Cursed, I don't remember it as well as I should, but I do remember it decently. Um, is it this one or... Right, there's... I need to loot something in this alley somewhere. The guards are just taking turns beating the crap out of some poor citizen. I don't know, I don't think we can intervene. There we go. That's what we want, though. Right there. There's a ring and a flask on the ground here. You want to grab, probably. I'll show you what they do in a second. Actually, right now. Uh, the Lover's Band is a plus two armor class ring. And the other thing was the Whispering Flask, which uh, invokes aid. It's only usable by Githzerai. Gives them plus two strength temporarily. We're going to go into the silo. And we're gonna go upstairs. Actually, wait. No, we need to. Okay, yeah, right. I remember now. This we don't do quite yet. The silo is not quite what we're doing just yet. Curse guards are pretty cool looking, though. Look at their huge armor and all that stuff. Some thugs around. <laughs> they do not like each other very much. Well, I shouldn't say that. Anna just doesn't like um, Fall from Grace because she is a succubus. Let's talk to the dump caretaker. You see a scruffy old man who reeks of garbage. He seems somehow more vital than most of the people in this town, more vibrant, as if he didn't quite belong here. He looks up at you as you approach and straightens his back. Come to see Kai's. Heard stories of wisdom and righteousness, examples to be set and lived by. I'm gonna say, who are you? Um, I am Kais, caretaker of the town's refuse. I tend to their garbage, and in metaphor, I have seen a fair number of souls float this way as well. I am the voice that urges them to goodness, and I fear they ignore me. I have some more questions. What is this place? This is the town's refuse. I watch over it to hunt the vermin who pick through it. I keep it from spilling into the city, and in turn, they bring me more. I see. What can you tell me of Cursed? It is a town that is on the brink of disaster. All manner of evil is being done here, and nothing is as it seems. All is hidden beneath a veneer of civility, but the venom scars those who breathe it in. This is a poisonous town filled with poisonous people. Alright, tell me about this dump. He leans forward conspiratorially. I have a secret entrance into the underground here, a secret place almost all nobody knows. There is a way into the undercity, he pauses, but I have never used it. Should I go down, I foresee that I could never return. The way down is slippery, and the rubble would collapse behind me. When I'm ready to die, I shall slide down there and let the monsters feast on my bones. Well, that's Updated my journal. slightly grim, I guess. Eventually, I think we do go down there, but I can't remember for the life of me at the moment. Alright. There is more stuff I have to do with him, but it's a little bit later on. Um, uh, to get to the Cursed Underground, I think it's right around... Irish. I don't know. It's somewhere in this dump. Maybe over there. I don't know. Can't remember. Cursed right. is not right. a town I remember very well, actually. All right. There should be a blacksmith around here somewhere. Is it this building? Yeah, it's Crumple Punch. He's a blacksmith. Um, I'm gonna say, or sorry, this sour-looking burly man glares at you as you interrupt his work. He seems a little slow, but earnest. Not as poisonous as the others in this town. Hi, what do you want? Who are you? I'm Crumple Punch Malako, the townsmith. You want something? Yeah, why not? Let's take a quick look. There are magic punch daggers, which are just plus one punch daggers. We have better ones. Siphon knuckles are plus two, and they transfer um, hit points from the target to the wielder. I actually might pick those up. Uh, we have money, so maybe. Yeah, why not? Uh, there's a plus two enchanted dagger, but we have a... Ooh, there's a plus three dagger. That might be better than what we're currently using. There's a fiend 
uh, femur, which is not usable by lawful or good characters and can't be used by mages, so we're not going to bother with it. Enchanted Hammer. Fool Smiter is actually a pretty nice uh, mace. Warhammer type thing. Plus two and does tons of damage. Blind Terror, also pretty good. Does no damage really, but causes blindness and does acid damage. And Bolts of Whistling Doom. But I think there's only ten of them. So if we buy them, we can only use ten and then they're gone forever. So I'm going to buy the... Uh, Phew, sorry, punch knuckles. Ow. Uh, where'd they go? Oh, that there. Assassin's knuckles. Oh, she can't use them. Why not? Usable only by thieves. She is a thief. No. I guess a fighter thief doesn't count as a thief, which is stupid. Thief right there. It says right there. Thief. Fine, whatever. We'll sell them back. That was a giant waste of money. Oh, we can sell them back for almost as much as we bought them for anyways. Um, have you heard anything about a Deva in Cursed? Oh, what? A Deva? Ain't one of them angel things? No, we ain't got one here. Do you want something of me? Uh, I don't think there's anything else we want to buy from him. No, okay. Oh, it's a hammer quality. Plus one. Alright. So, oh, do we have anything to sell, actually? Now that I think about it. Black Bar Branch. It's a wand. I'm going to put that there, I think. Scalpel, Rod of Modron Might. I'm gonna put that up there. We're gonna give the junk and corpse charm to somebody else. The fiendish eye of Kalimdar is really nice compared to the one we have, even. So let's grab the fiendish eye. Plus two charisma, a bunch of resistances, but negative one wisdom, which puts us at 24, which is okay for now. We don't need 25 at the moment, but we'll take it off later on. Uh, the Displacer Ring, we're going to give to you. Negative four for Dacon now. I'd give it to Mort, but Mort doesn't have any ring slots, which kind of sucks. Did we get anything else that's worthwhile so far? We do have that spell, I think. Yeah. And that's really it. We have a severed arm that's ours. We should probably sell eventually. Or just throw on the ground. Uh, keep the scalpel just in case. I don't think we need it anymore, but I'm not entirely sure. And that is pretty much it. We're almost done with this uh, beginning area for the moment. I might just go into the tavern anyways. There is a couple of things to do there. I'm gone. And that's the way out of the city, right? Okay. All right. So... That's really it. Let's All go right. to the tavern, I guess. Can't hurt. Traitor's Gate Tavern. Okay, there are some people to talk to here, and I can't remember who they are. I think Marquez is I'm one gone. of them. Let's talk to him first. You see a burly blonde man wearing the armor of a Harmonium officer. His face is rosy with drink, and behind a smile, his eyes are filled with bitterness. He launches into a speech without preamble. Bar sent, you know, and stop wasting my time. He turns back to the he turns back to the whiskey and steadfastly ignores you. Well, that's rude. We guess we gotta find this bar's person. Does it check a plute? I don't remember this place very well, so I have to check everybody just in case I miss somebody. You see a drunken guard. He's dressed in the armor of Cursed's finest, but looks like he, all he's interested in is protecting his bub. He looks you over without much much interest, his eyes dead. Who are you? Check a flute, one of Cursed's elite, he belches. What are you doing here? He points to the tainted bars. Watching him. They say he's got a tunnel here, and I want to see if... See him used to see if it's true. Waiting, watching. Go away now, i got watching to do. Alright. Who are you watching? Oh, tainted bars. The bartender. Alright. You see a haggard, grim man. His coarse face is lined and weathered, and his eyes are red-rimmed. He straightens as he sees you. Welcome to the Traitor's Gate. I'm Tainted Bars, the innkeep. What's wrong? What's wrong is that my daughter got herself kidnapped by slavers. Now that the place is going to fall behind on his bills, and I'm going to lose the place to one of those rich pikers in the first circle. He looks at you more closely. You're the fellow asking about the Deva, ain't ya? I'll tell you what. You help me out, and I'll help you. What do I have to do? Go over there and talk to Marquez. He's the ex-harmonium fellow. He knows about these slavers and he holds the first part of the key that'll put you on the path to seeing the deva. There are five parts of the key, but it ain't a physical key. 
When you got the parts together, you come and tell me, and it unlocks the knowledge in my mind. Till then, though, it stays secret. You gotta satisfy the key holders. I'll do it. Marquez will tell you what you have to do, and when you're finished, he'll steer you to the next person as a key. Alright, let's go talk to Marquez. You're back, he swallows his drink. Bar sent you. Good, here's the deal. Slavers have kidnapped his daughter. It's your job to get them back. I'll tell you where to find them. You go kill them, and report back to me. I'll help you find the diva and hells, maybe even teach you weapons. Agreed. Agreed. Bless I heard. Slavers were to the east and inner cursed. They've got the nod from the city guard. Find them. Make sure Barsa's daughter is alright and kill them. When you're done, come back here and I'll tell you the first part of the key you need to find the deva. Alright, fine. Farewell. Journal. We're not going to inner curse just yet, so let's find more people to talk to. These people look really bleak. Maybe they, they have new uh, pictures in our journal. I like looking at the NPC pictures. Oops, wrong one. Beasts. NPCs. Curse guards are pretty cool looking, although those look entirely implausible. But there's no cursed people. No cursed citizen pictures? Really? Oh. Fair enough. We've seen most of these already. Yeah, we've seen all these. Okay. Um, oh well. I'm Except gone. maybe Ravel. Was Ravel on there somewhere? Uh, let's find out. Ah, oh, there we go. Ravel. That's what she looked like. That is one terrifying looking woman. Alright. Uh, so I'm there's gone. Donna Kisho. We should talk to up here. I don't think anyone else here is worth talking to except for her. Let's talk to her. Nope. Stop. There we go. Yes. Yep. You see a red-haired woman, short and plump. Her face is lined with cares, worries, and hatreds that seem to have festered far too long. She sneers at your approach and turns her head away so she cannot s you cannot see her eyes. She acts as though you can't see her. If she can't see you, to her you do not even exist. Alright, whatever then. Fine, wench, I don't want to talk to you. Some more citizens. Done. Done. Looks like a pretty well-stocked bar, actually. Let's quick save and see if we can jack some jack. No. But, I mean, there's some stuff here. I guess. All right. Let's go up. All right. Do we just talk to any of you guys? No. I don't think so. All right. Done. There's a merchant here. What? Did you not hear me? Out! Out of my kitchen! All right. I want to see what's on your table. I don't want anything. Okay. I don't want your cheese or steak knife. Let's go upstairs. I'm gone. All right. All right. What's in here? A storage room. Get in the room so I can Done. loot things. There is a Minerosian chocolate, some copper commons, a heart charm, a frosty mint candy, and some cheese. I'm sure those are epically Done. important to the storyline. And they probably filled up my entire inventory. Yep. It invokes friends. Cool. And a heart charm. We know it does already. We'll give that to somebody else to hold on to. Clot charms. Who has the clot charms? She does. And the chocolate invokes swarm curse. That's kind of bleak. Alright. Anybody? Oh, oh, there's somebody in this room. But he's just a citizen right. and not important to us. Barog! Let's talk to Barog. Everybody exit the room so I can talk to Barog. You see a mousy man with darting, frightened eyes. Please don't hurt me, the stage whispers. They'll kill me if they find me. Who will kill you? The guards. They're after me. I think I offended someone with a question or said something to the wrong person. I was just offering an opinion, but it seems you have to speak in a certain way around here. It's all corrupt. Who are you? I'm Barrow's Quick Shoes, traveler and problem solver. I guess you could call me a thief, but I prefer to call myself an engineer. Traps and puzzles and so forth. I only use my skills for good ends. I hate to harm anyone. I guess that they use engines for different purposes here. He shudders. What are you doing here? I came to curse because I heard some Davos trapped here. And since I have some Archon friends back in Mount Celestia, I thought I could be of assistance. This town, though, this place is a cesspool, and I can't trust anyone. How can people live like this? I need to get out of here. Who's gonna kill you? The guards? Oh, wait, except that. Um, who are you? What are you doing here? Tell me of Mount Celestia. His eyes go dreamy. All things have their place there, and all things are beautiful. Hosts of winged Archons wheel in the skies, in exquisite patterns that could break your heart. The fruit grows larger, the game bigger, and the homes are open. Yet we strive to better ourselves constantly, testing our virtue and moving ourselves ever closer to goodness. I should get home as soon as I can. Then go. 
He looks at you with disbelief in his eyes. Thank you. You'll not see me again. Farewell. He scampers away. I have no reason to... That was a big dude. All right. Standing right in the door. I'm Why gone. are you just standing in the doorway? I'm You're gone. a weird guy. Done. The door's locked. Which is good because we have a thief. Right. Okay. When I said, go lock the door, I really kind of meant it. There we go. Might as well. All right, what's in here? Oh, I I'll learn you not to break into my room, solid. I don't think you will. I'll break into whatever I want to. That's a huge bed. Actually, all these beds are monstrously big. All right, I think we're done here. I thought there was someone we had to talk to. Did I miss somebody? Let's talk to random people. All right. Done. I'm hmm. gone. The All cursed right. citizens don't really have anything to say of import, but. I thought there was somebody else we needed to talk to to start up a quest. Done. Maybe it's down in here. Dallin, let's try to talk to him. You see a tall man with shoulder length, black hair, and piercing blue eyes. Whatever he seems. Whenever. or sorry, wherever he looks, it seems to smolder under his gaze. Sitting next to him is a quiet young woman who smiles vaguely at all he says. He turns those bright blue eyes at you and smiles largely. He offers his hand. I'm Dallin, pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you, er. I'm gonna say. I had a few questions. What do you need to know? I heard there's a diva in this town. He laughs and shakes his head. You have another question? Yes. What do you know about this diva? He laughs loudly. All things have their place and I'm not ready to put a price on that information yet. Maybe later. Tell me about your friend here then. He smirks. She's a friend. That's all you need to know. She dimples slightly at his side and blushes. Tell me about yourself then. I'm a bard, historian, actor, and all-around entertainer. Fastest fingers in the Outlands. His smile breaks out again. Infectious. At least that's what I tell everybody. Thanks. You Done. worthless person. Done. Hmm. I thought there was more people Done. to talk to. Nabbit, there is another person we should talk to. You see an angel faced man, his eyes squinting, nearly shut as if unwilling to watch the world's horrors or let the world see the horrors inside them. Yet his face is creased with smile lines, his voice is friendly and lackadaisical as he greets you. Hi. I had some questions for you. What do you want to know? What can you tell me about this place? What the Trader's Gate Tavern? It's run by tainted bars over there and frequented by the folks you see here. Marquez, ex homeronium Kitla, ex-employee, Dallin, ex-just about everything, and uh, and do I ever have some stories about him? Maybe I'll tell you sometime. And Donna Kisho, whose story I don't know. Thanks. There's someone we missed talking to, obviously. The ex-employee, where is she? Ah, oh, Kitla, right there. Perfect. You see a tall, striking woman. She stands staring at the walls of the tavern without seeing them. Her hands slowly curl into fists, and clenching and unclenching. When she sees you, her eyes dart across her clothing and gear and then back to your eyes. A sardonic smile crosses her face, and she looks away again. Greetings. She looks back at you and scowls. Do you always make a habit of talking to strangers? Not usually, but I thought I'd talk to you. What a fascinating life you must lead to do such things. Sadly for you, I'm busy, and I'd appreciate being left alone. I just had a few questions. What part of I'm busy did you not understand? Leave me alone. Thank you. She turns her attention back to losing herself in thought. She begins chewing on her lower lip, and beads of blood sprout from it. Okay. So I think that's going to be pretty much it for this video. We know we have to find a five-part key. Which we're going to get on right away. I guess we're going to go to Inner Curse next video. And then we're also going to do the grain silo eventually. Unfortunately, area by area doesn't work very well in Cursed or the Outlands because there's a lot of backtracking and looping around right. and junk. So, in the next video, we'll go to Inner Curse, take a look around, All right. get the first part of the key done, come back here and start the next part of the key. Like always, if you guys have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video.